Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about an oil paint that has the best reputation I have ever heard of. But are they as good as people say? The brand is Old Holland, they are super expensive but meant to be some of the best oil paints ever. So in this video I'm going to review them. Also don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new and let us begin the video. Just as a disclaimer, I am not sponsored by Old Holland, these thoughts are my own. About a year ago I heard about them and I really was curious to try them out because I heard they were super expensive so I thought I would give them a go. Since I am a broke artist I only have a few of their colours because I can't afford the whole range but I have been using them consistently ever since. Firstly one great selling point of the brand is that they have an incredible history. The brand Old Holland was started in, wait for it, 1664 by a group of Dutch painters so it really is old. Back then they didn't even have paint tubes, they used to sell paint in pigs bladders. Oh I say! Obviously over the years their manufacturing process has evolved and in 1985 they released these classic oil colours. Another advantage is they have a very extensive colour range. They have 168 colours so chances are you'll be able to find the colour you want. Holland also say that their oil paints have a great light fastness and that just means that your oil paints won't fade on your paintings over the years. They'll remain strong and intense. The oil paints are made with pigment and cold pressed linseed oil, so no preservatives or fillers. In my experience using these oil paints, I find the colours to be really intense, rich and bold. I also find the consistency of them to be very consistent. Honestly, are a dream to use and really easy to blend and just wonderful experience. I use them in all of my oil paintings somewhere or another and have never had any problems with them. I'm going to get to the disadvantages. I do have a few. Number one being the price. They are really expensive unfortunately and when you get into the more interesting colours the price just seems to rocket. Obviously if you are super rich and fancy you can buy the whole range without any worries and have a wonderful painting experience. Sadly for the rest of us paupers I think probably the best option is to check out different paint brands and then swap in colours that you can't afford. I actually find the finish of Old Holland oil paints to be very similar to Michael Harding and whilst Michael Harding isn't cheap either, quite often in the sale you can find some colours quite reduced on Michael Harding so I would say that if you're looking for a colour in Old Holland but you can't find it, check out Michael Harding instead and buy his colours instead. The final thing just to note is that the actual consistency of the paint is a little bit on the thicker stiffer side of oil paints and it's just something to be aware of because if you like really really runny paint then you probably won't like this. I personally prefer this slightly stiffer thicker paint so this is perfect for me but it's just going to be a personal preference so something to keep in mind. That concludes this review. I really hope you enjoyed it. I am a huge fan of these paints. I just wish I was richer to afford them all. But thank you for watching and um, let me know if you've tried Old Holland and what you thought. Don't forget to join me on Wednesday at 1pm and I'll see you soon. Take care guys.